What is up, guys? So the synopsis for the second episode of our Season 7 has been released. The title of the episode is Longbow Hunters. If you don't know, the Longbow Hunters are the main villains of this season, consisting of Red Dart, Silencer, and Kodiak. I've done videos on the, in the past on these characters. If you want to look it up, look on my channel for Longbow Hunters. You'll find some videos. But uh, this episode is the Longbow Hunters, which means that they will probably debut in this episode. If not, they will debut at the end of the first episode and then be a little bit more fleshed out in this episode but with the title longbow hunters you can probably tell the longbow hunters are going to have a huge part of this episode and some other things the synopsis reveals is that oliver is still in prison for the second episode which is pretty uh pretty big relief because uh if you've seen any arrowverse uh, cliffhangers in the past you can see that uh they don't really resolve cliffhangers well so it's pretty relieved uh, i'm relieved that it's at least more than one episode i think it should be maybe four or five episodes and that is it but at least it is two episodes from what we know so far oliver is also going to team up with an old enemy where i'm gonna let you guys know who i think that enemy is and then the rest of the synopsis is about felicity so i'll tell you guys what i think about that as well so without further ado let's break down the synopsis the synopsis reads in order to track down ds from inside prison oliver realizes that will require aligning with an old enemy meanwhile in star city felicity's attempts to root out diaz are thwarted by diggle whose allegiances to argus now require him to keep civilians like her on the outs Realizing that she can no longer rely on her old team or her old methods, a clear-eyed Felicity resolves to find a new way to go after Diaz. So like I said, the synopsis confirms that Oliver is in prison for at least two episodes, or he's in prison still in the second episode, which is a relief, like I said, because uh, the track record that the CW has for um, their cliffhanger resolutions like uh, Lian Yu, Flashpoint, the JSA, etc. Usually the resolutions are not done very well the cliffhangers are pretty cool the resolutions not so i'm glad to see that they're that he's in prison for more than one episode i'm hoping for four to five episodes i think by the fifth episode he should be out at that point i think it'll get a little tiring at that point for him to be in prison and not the green arrow for that long and for other characters to really take up the main role as they are in star city fighting diaz and the long hunters i think i would want it to be out by the fifth episode so the Sinasa starts saying that Oliver is trying to track down Diaz from inside prison. Not only does this reveal that Oliver is still inside prison, but this reveals that Diaz will survive the first episode. I expected him to survive the first episode, but considering he is a guest star in this season, he's probably not going to survive very long. Now, he was a guest star in the last season as well, but that was different considering he didn't appear until like episode 6, and even then he didn't appear in every single episode, so they were able to space it out, make it so that he is a guest star still, probably just so they don't need to pay another actor for a main or a series regular role. So I think that he won't last very long into this season. He will act as like the secondary main villain, in my opinion. I don't think he's going to join the Longbow Hunters. Even though he is the leader of the Longbow Hunters in the comics, I think he's not going to join. And I don't want him to. I think the villain should leave at this point. But I think Diaz at this point will be downgraded. from Originally, he was like a member of the main villain team. Then, then he was the main villain. Now he's going to be downgraded to the secondary main villain of the season. Then we have the most interesting part of the synopsis, in my opinion. Oliver realizes that will require aligning with an old enemy. Who that enemy is? Well, it's not confirmed as of right now. There are three characters who are appearing in this episode that are all old enemies, being Dark Samson, Daniel Brickwell, and Ben Turner, aka Bronze Tiger. There are other villains like Red Dart, Silencer, and Kodiak who are not old enemies. Those three characters who are old enemies that I mentioned, they're all in prison, so it might be a little weird considering the synopsis says that Oliver is uh, aligning with an old enemy to track down Diaz outside of prison, so it might be a little weird to say that he's teaming up with somebody inside prison, although it might be something like that uh, that Scrap movie from 2008 where it's, it was called Green Arrow Escape from Supermax, where he teams up with a bunch of old enemies to escape from Supermax, and I think that in prison now, he can easily team up with characters like Ben Turner, aka Bronze Tiger. I don't think Daniel Brickwell or Derek Sampson are really candidates for this, because they're really the type of villains that don't really seem like they should get redemption arcs, but the thing about Ben Turner is that he's already had kind of a redemption arc in the show where he joined the Suicide Squad, and then in the comics, in the two Arrow 2.5 comics, which are not really canon anymore, but they, in those comics, Ben Turner actually died for the Suicide Squad. Now, then, those might not be canon anymore because Ben Turner is obviously alive. It's also possible that Ben Turner's death was faked, so maybe it is still canon. 
I don't really know, but Ben Turner, I think he's a perfect candidate for Oliver to team up with in terms of his old enemy, and maybe that is the old enemy he's teaming up with, but in terms of characters who are outside of prison and characters who have not been confirmed yet, I think the most likely character is probably Anatoly Kaniza, considering his shifted alliances, per the episode title was called, where he shifted alliances and he didn't really work for Anatoly, for Diaz anymore, and he really sided with Oliver. I think that that could be a thing as well, though he's not actually confirmed to be in this episode, so at this point, honestly, no, I think if it's not him, if it's one of the characters that have been confirmed, it's almost definitely Ben Turner. So then we have the second half of the synopsis, which, like I said, is all about Felicity Smoke. Now, this might not be very indicative of the actual episode, considering there's nothing about the Longbow Hunters in the episode, and then the episode is called the Longbow Hunters, and they're appearing in this episode. I think that they're trying to avoid spoilers by not saying anything about them in the synopsis, but if this synopsis is actually word for word exactly reflective of the actual episode, then this might not be a very good episode. So Felicity is in like 70% of the synopsis. There's like two lines about Oliver and then four about Felicity, so she's in most of the synopsis, which is a little worrying for the episode, but again, again like I said, it might not be very indicative of the actual episode, but it says that all that Felicity attempts to root out Diaz, uh, her attempts are thwarted by Diggle. Now, that's a very interesting concept for me, for Diggle to turn into a sort of antagonist a little bit for him to actually stop Felicity, because it says that he is not telling her about anything because because of his allegiance to Argus, he can't really bring her into the loop about everything that's going on with Diaz, everything that the Argus knows. So he's not exactly an antagonist, but he's not exactly a supportive character either to the character who is seemingly the main character of this episode, Felicity, which, again, if she is the main character of this episode, very not excited for that, because even if you think uh, Felicity is a great character, which I know a lot of people do, for some reason, I don't really get that, but you can, you can at least see that she's not the main character, and she shouldn't be. For me, she's even worse when she's the main character. There was an episode in season 6, episode 4, which was one of the worst episodes of that season, where Felicity was the main character, and Oliver was pushed to the back, and that was a terrible episode. Felicity was at her worst in that episode, along with the rest of season 4, where she was the main character for the entire season. That's one of the reasons it's such a bad season, so to see, to see Felicity in most of this synopsis, a little bit worrying, but hopefully I'm being optimistic and saying that this is not indicative of the actual episode. This is not exactly reflective of the episode because they're leaving out the Longwell Hunters from the synopsis to avoid spoilers. So that's it for the synopsis breakdown. In the comments down below, let me know what you're most excited about in this episode and if you're excited about this episode in general because me personally, this episode, based off the synopsis, not a very interesting episode. Maybe the synopsis is just worded this way because it doesn't want to spoil everything about the Longwell Hunters or Oliver in prison, which if that's true, then I'm definitely, definitely excited for this episode. But if this synopsis is actually indicative of this episode and it actually reflects the episode pretty well, then that's just not something I'm interested in seeing. But anyway, let me know your opinions in the comments down below. And like I said earlier, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.